late night news. A new dilemma confronting the federal government as it tries to get the partial sale of Telstra through the Senate. Thousands turn out to welcome the Dalai Lama as he begins his two-week tour of Australia. And bitter disagreements as voting ends in Bosnia's first elections since the Civil War. The Late Night News with George Denikian. Good evening. First tonight, the new dilemma for the federal government. While it's had an offer that could see the partial sale of Telstra passed in the Senate, the deal would spark new controversy because its funding for some medical procedures might be cut to win a key vote. Independent Senator Brian Harradine wants abolished Medicare payments for abortion, IVF programs and family planning clinics. According to newspaper reports, Senator Harradine has recently sent his wish list to Prime Minister Howard. Brian Harradine is one of two crucial votes the government is relying on as it battles to get its partial privatisation of Telstra through the Senate. Those issues should be dealt with legitimately on their merits rather than used as chips on a bargaining table to decide the future of Telstra. Senator Harradine was unavailable today and Mr Howard is refusing to comment on the issue, but a memo from the Prime Minister's office claims making the savings would be difficult, but this does not preclude the government from examining the possibility of reducing overuse of government subsidised services in these areas. And there's already strong support from one Cabinet Minister. I've made it very clear over the years I'm much opposed to abortion on demand. Now, these are matters which has been the subject of correspondence with the Prime Minister, with the Minister for Health. And following Telstra's better than expected profit of $2.3 billion, the Australian Democrats claim the government now has an unbudgeted windfall of $840 million and doesn't need to sell a third of Telstra to pay for its environment policy. It can stay in public hands and it's earned enough money to pay for the environment fund. What a bonus. Minister Richard Alston says the coalition achieved a mandate at the last election to sell Telstra and will continue to do so. Jane Hinchke, 10 News.